testify when his co-defendants head to trial, the rapper would have to take the stand. John Dang, so he would have to testify. Okay, 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 okay. What's good with it, gang? Welcome back to Vaughn's POV. We got another banger video for you guys today. And this one, as you guys can see from the title, man, is actually about the um, Gunna Young Thug situation. As you guys know, they were, I think they were arrested like a year ago at this point and been locked up all year, like in prison and stuff for uh, racketeering and just all kinds of, you know, crazy charges that rappers get. And I'm not big into like, I don't, I don't even listen to music like that a lot no more. Um, but I'm not even uh, like, you know, I'm, I don't really listen to Young Thug or Gunna like that. I mean, I have in the past, but I really don't listen to them like that. Don't really care to. Um, but I, I am kind of interested in this a little bit because I just feel like like I like I want to know your guys opinions really in the comment section down below. Do y'all believe that Gunna snitched to get out of this situation that he's in since he is out? Or like, do y'all think he pulled a six nine? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't really care to have an opinion. I just, I just, I'm just interested to see like what really happened. You know what I mean? But we're gonna be reacting to this news video that they dropped 11 hours ago uh, and uh, see see what they talking about, man. Three things before we get into this video. If you guys could please make sure you have your notifications turned on and make sure you guys are subscribed so that you guys do not miss any of the uploads as we are uploading multiple videos to the channel every single day throughout the rest of the year and 2023. Follow all my social media links in the description down below. If you guys want to tag me in your favorite part of the video, I will repost you guys on Instagram gaming channel link down below as well if you guys would like to subscribe to the other channel come over and engage with me during some live gameplay maybe play the game with me or come through chat catch a vibe you guys are more than welcome without further ado we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get straight into it let's see what they're talking about all new for you at noon atlanta rapper young thug is back in court okay there go young thug right there now this all comes less than 24 hours he looking like energetic though like he he he, he really looking like he looking like confident right now. I'm not gonna lie. He's looking very confident. Like, I wonder what kind of news he got. Answer the plea deal for his release from jail. Young Thug and Gunna. And that's the thing. Like, Gunna entered a plea deal, right? So, I'm just wondering, like, if he, because if, like, I don't know. I don't know. I've never been in this situation, and I never would be. But, like, a plea deal, like, getting the plea deal, you pretty much admit to a crime. But also, like, did he, do you guys think he had to snitch, too, like, to get out of this situation? two of 28 defendants charged in this rico case 28, 28 damn of the young slime life record label which prosecutors are accusing of having connection to street gang activity motion hearings for young thug and other ysl members happening right now our team is there we will be sure to bring you the very latest online and here on air here is a look at the moments Atlanta born rapper Gunna walked out of the Fulton County Jail late yesterday afternoon. The rapper, whose real name is Sergio Kitchens, made a deal with prosecutors to make this all happen. Now, Gunna will not have to stand trial early next year with rapper Young Thug and the more than two dozen other defendants who prosecutors say were part of a racketeering conspiracy. And Dang. Gunna releasing a statement saying oh, Gunna out of there. He the only one out. The rest is still there. So that really makes me wonder, like, what happened? Documents from his plea deal show if called to testify when his co-defendants head to trial, the rapper would have to take the stand. John. Dang, so he would have to testify. OK, 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 OK. That part of the story for us. Gunna, Sergio Kitchens leaving the Fulton County Jail seven months after he'd surrendered. He is a free man. The man Fulton County prosecutors had said was deeply involved with rapper Young Thug and 26 others in a violent gang called YSL. Gunna pleaded guilty to one count of racketeering, and it was an Alford plea, meaning Gunna does not admit to doing anything wrong despite pleading guilty to the charge. I'm pleading guilty, but not admitting I'm guilty. It's just legal jargon, it's legal maneuvering. Right, it's right. the same as a regular guilty plea. Atlanta Most attorney Daryl Cohen, who is not part of the case, says prosecutors likely just wanted Gunna out of the way as they focus on trying to convict the others. Because he's a minor player, so it's just going to clear the deck, if you will, to give us, that is the prosecution, an opportunity to go after the big players in this case. Gunna was charged with just one count of racketeering in the massive indictment. He was accused of dealing in drugs and stolen merchandise along with other alleged gang members. By contrast, Young why are you walking like Bigfoot and shit? <laughs> he literally walking like Bigfoot right here. <laughs> 
<laughs> that old video of Bigfoot walking in black and white. Alleged gang members. By contrast, young thug Jeffrey Williams was indicted. Man, Young Thug, I, Young Thug always been sus to me, but hey, it might be over for Young Thug though. I don't know, man. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't really care what happens, but man. Eight counts. Gonna make Eight counts of racketeering. By his attorney, that his deal with prosecutors does not require him to be a prosecution witness against the others. Quote, I have not made any statements, have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case. He's trying to save his cred and his world. Gunna says that as part of his deal with prosecutors, he will now, as he put it, try to educate young people that gangs and violence only lead to destruction. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. Maybe that was Gunna's wake up call, man. Maybe that was his wake up call. That does it for this video. I don't know what to walk away thinking about what's gonna happen. I mean, I mean, if I had to like assume what I think is gonna happen, I mean, I feel like Young Thug is probably going to end up like, I don't know, uh, he's going to end up like um, whatever the guy's name was that was 6ix9ine, uh, you know, the trade guys or whatever, you know, I don't I don't really know their names, I don't care. But uh, I, I, I assume, I assume that Young Thug is not going to get out of this. Gunna got out of it. I don't know if he had to snitch or whatever the case may be. He's saying that he did it. But who knows? We'll see over time. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Original video in the description down below as well. If you guys want to watch it without me talking over it. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. Let's get it.